Hi, this is Brian with ICANN, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the Remote Air Pro 3 from PD Movie. So the Remote Air Pro 3 comes with a hard case, and I'm going to go ahead and show you what's inside the hard case. So first of all, we have our instruction manual. We also have the PD4HT controller, which controls the focus, iris, and zoom. Um, you basically have a rocker here for the iris and another rocker for the zoom, and then you control the focus with the, uh, with the hand wheel here. And then we also have three additional uh, marking disc rings. We have a, uh, an adapter plate. We also have two 0.4 meter motor drive line cables. This is used to tether the motors together. Uh, we have a long antenna. We have two short antennas. We have an LI42B battery charger. This is a quad charger and you basically just plug in the micro USB cable here and then it'll charge up to four batteries at once. We also have a micro USB cable that's used with the charger. We have a lanyard. This will attach to the bottom of the PD4HT controller so you can kind of just carry it around on your neck. See, we also have a DTAP power cable. This is used to go from the pro battery to the motor. We also have the USB charging cable. We have three 19 millimeter to 15 millimeter rod adapters. We also have three LI42B batteries. We have two PDMX replica motors. And then last we have the PDRX wireless motor. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to set up the motors. So first you wanna get uh, one of the, the PDMX replica motors. The, that's the motor without the screen on the side. If you're using 19 millimeter rods, you can just go ahead and slide this right on the 19 millimeter rod. But if you're using 15 millimeter rods, you're gonna need one of the adapters. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and put the 15 millimeter adapter into the 19 millimeter rod slot. And you can insert this 15 millimeter rod attachment either from the top or the bottom. This, uh, you know, depending on if you have a dovetail that might be in the way, you can just uh, adjust it however you want. So, all right, so you wanna go ahead and make sure that you in insert the replica motor on first. So we're gonna go ahead and put those on. You, then you align it with the gear. And you go ahead and tighten it. And then we're gonna go ahead and get the other replica motor. Insert that on the rod. Align it with the gears and tighten it. And then we're gonna go ahead and put on the receiver motor and then put that one on the focus wheel, align the gears and then tighten it. And then next we're gonna go ahead and get the D-tap to six pin limo cable. And we're gonna go out of the pro battery and then I'll put it into the replica motor and just align the red dots. And then you'll see that it starts blinking. The LED indicator starts blinking. So that way you know the, uh, the motor is powered on. And then what you wanna do is start daisy chaining the motors. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from the other output and then we're just gonna go ahead and connect it to the next motor with the six pin limo cable. And then we're gonna go out of that motor and then we're gonna go into the receiver motor and then just put it into the limo port. And then for this motor, you can either choose to use the long antenna or the short antenna. So you're just gonna go ahead and screw that in to the antenna port. And that's gonna give you a much better range. So now we're gonna go ahead and sync them with the controller. So you wanna go ahead and grab one of your LI42B batteries and then put it into the controller. So just take a look at the shape of the input of the battery slot and make sure that the flat part meets the flat part of the, of the slot here. And so you, whenever you insert the battery, you're gonna see the back facing you. So whenever you insert it, just make sure you can see the CE logo, that way you know that it's inserted in the right direction. So in order to sync these motors, what you wanna do is first turn on the controller by pushing the red button here. Just hold that until you see the PD Movie logo. Just give it a second. And then um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, do a manual calibration of the lens. So in order to do a manual calibration, all you have to do is just move the zoom ring from one end of the lens to the other. And then for the, the zoom, we'll go ahead and do the same thing. And 
And then for the iris. All right, so now that we have all of our motors calibrated with the lens, we're gonna go ahead and uh, set each motor up to its own channel. If you look at the, the motors, you'll see that all of them are blinking red. We want each of these motors to be its own color. So we're gonna go ahead and set the focus wheel to red, which is the first motor you see here. And then the second motor, we're gonna go ahead and set that one to green. So in order to do that, you just push the button on the very bottom of the motor, just tap that twice, and then you'll see that the color changes on the motor. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do it on this one as well. All right, so now that we have each motor set to its own color, we're gonna go ahead and make sure that the, the colors correspond to what's on the controller here. So if you look right here on the controller, you'll see that there's a focus iris and zoom LED indicator. Um, so basically what you wanna do is make sure that the light, the color of the lights match the motor. So right here, my focus is set to red and I wanna make sure that the red motor is connected to the focus wheel and then the zoom is green. I wanna make sure that the green motor is connected to the zoom ring and then the iris is blue so I want to make sure the blue motor connects to the iris wheel and uh, it looks like everything's set up so now I can go ahead and start pulling focus so it looks like it's very responsive and um, so I can pull focus and zoom at the same time say if you wanted to set the uh, the zoom to the focus wheel right here. So all you would have to do is just change the color on the motor. So if I wanted to do that, I would just change the middle motor to red. So if I just push that button twice, and then and I just keep pushing it twice until it matches the red color. And uh, so now that both of these motors are red, if I were to actually move this wheel, it would move both of those at the same time. This setup would work really good for 3D setups if you're wanting to pull focus on two different cameras you can set both motors to do the, exactly the same thing. But since I don't want to do that for this, I just wanted to only control the focus with this, with this wheel. Um, if that's what I wanted to do, I would just put this one green. And then now I'm controlling the zoom ring with the focus wheel. And then I can control the focus ring with the, with the zoom rocket right here. So basically, if I wanted to control the iris, I could control the iris, zoom, and focus all, at, all simultaneously. So the, the PD4HT also comes with a rubber handle. You can actually detach. If you actually wanted to attach the focus wheel to like some, some type of uh, articulating arm, you could easily do that. You can actually remove this uh, 19 millimeter rod um, and then you can attach it to any quarter 20 accessory if you can see here they have quarter 20 mounts um, so you can basically attach that to any articulating arm and put that anywhere on your rig and just control it and then if you have a quick release system you can easily just take that off and then the focus puller can pull focus offset the PD4 HT also comes with a marking disc so you can basically just uh, you know mark your points here and uh, this is actually not a glow-in-the-dark ring, but what's cool about it is that it actually comes with an LED backlight. So it's, um, it's always on, and um, if you need to pull focus in the dark and you need to see your markings, uh, you can always see it in the dark with this, uh, with this LED backlight. So with this system, you can actually connect up to six motors to the controller. Um, like I showed you before, you can control two motors um, as long as they're set to the same co color. So you could have two red motors, two blue motors, and two green motors, and you could actually control them all at the same time. So if you had a, a 3D rig where you had two lenses and you wanted them to do exactly the same thing, you could just set up that system to where um, you're controlling dual focus, dual iris, and dual zoom, and they're gonna just all work simultaneously. So you can actually see the indicator screen here. Um, it's showing you your signal strength. It's showing you the, uh, the channel you're on, and FZI resolution and then it has XYZ resolution. So if you're connected to a six channel system where you're controlling six motors, the XYZ resolution will you know, indicate what, what you're actually set to. So the PD4HT controller has nine quarter 20 inputs. And uh, if you wanted to set up a, a monitor on top and then uh, you know, a wireless receiver on the back, 
Um, you know, you could basically just, you know, walk around the set and pull focus from wherever you wanted to just because the wireless signal is being sent directly to your controller here and you can just pull focus that way as well. Um, we also, you know, have a lanyard that comes included with the PD4 system. So you can use one of these quarter 20 inputs and just screw the lanyard in and um, just put it on and you can just walk around the set and you don't have to worry about, you know, where your controller's at, it's always with you. And, uh, you know, it's just really easy to have on you. If you wanna just go ahead and control the focus and just put it down and then, you know, wait until the next shot. We also have a quad battery charger. So in order to use this, all you have to do is just put the batteries in the slots and uh, it holds up to four at the same time. Once you have the batteries in there, you just plug in the USB charging cable and that goes on the side here and you just plug it in and then plug it into your phone charger or your laptop or any other you know power bank or anything like that and you can charge the, uh, the Li42B batteries that way. And it's, you know, it's always good to have some batteries charging as you're using your controller. So that way if the, you know, the battery runs out on the controller, you, all, you always have an extra set of batteries. So um, this is a really handy thing. Another cool thing about these motors is that they actually use both 2.4 gigahertz um, and they have Bluetooth protocol built into them. So if you want to connect to the app and control all three of these motors through the, uh, the iPhone app, it's um, all you have to do is just turn on the motor and then start up your app and then they'll automatically connect to Bluetooth. They'll, look, they'll first look for the Bluetooth signal and then they'll, they'll connect with your app and then you can actually just control the motors directly from the app if you don't want to use the controller and you want to have uh, you know, everything set up on your, on your phone or your tablet. And since these motors have Bluetooth, you can also use the, uh, the PD Movie thumb wheel controller, the wireless thumb controller. So if you have a lens that has hard stops on your zoom ring and your focus ring, it's actually very easy to just automatically calibrate the lens. I mean, all you have to do is just hold down the focus button here and you'll see if I hold it down, it'll automatically start calibrating those, those lenses. All right, another feature about the PD4 system is that you can actually turn it into a completely wired system. So if you have the two channel or three channel versions of the system, then you can actually use the replica motor as a wired uh, control system using the PD4 HT controller and a, an additional motor drive cable, which is actually sold separate. But uh, using this cable, you can actually just plug in the six pin Limo cable straight into the controller, which is located below the red button right here. And you just plug it in. And then you'll just go ahead and plug in the other end of the six pin limo cable into the motor. And you're still gonna need uh, DTAP battery power to, to power the motor and the controller. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, plug in the DTAP cable. Okay, and then you'll see that the, uh, the motors are powered on and then simply just turn on your controller. I also want to add that you do need the Li42B batteries inserted into the controller for it to be powered. Uh, this, this actually doesn't get power from the DTAP battery power source. So you're still going to need these batteries. Now that the system is turned on, all you have to do is just uh, recalibrate your motors. And now you have a wired system. This is actually not using a wireless motor at all. It's actually only using the replica motors. And all you have to do is just plug in the six pin Limo cable into the other motor. And uh, you know, make sure that they're daisy chained with the other motor drive cable. And you've got a fully wired system here. So this is the Remote Air Pro 3 from PD Movie. For more information, visit iCanCorp.com.